If you are new to the channel, then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. So hello students and dear viewers, uh, those who are watching this video. So there is always a confusion for admission in IIT or NIT after diploma. So in this video, I will try to explain what are the possibilities to getting admitted in IIT and NIT after diploma. At the very beginning, it is yes, it is absolutely possible, but there are some aspects are there, how this can be done or what are the procedures. So in this video, I will going to describe each and everything. So you watch this video till the end and at the end, if you like it, then press the like button. Okay, so without wasting your time, let me go to directly to the information browser of the JEE Man 202020 and we will see how this is possible. So this is the information bulletin that you can see in the screen. This you can download from the JEE Man website for 2020 it is or I will I will provide a link in the description where you will find it and you can download it. So, so if you go directly to page number 3, you will see first I have highlighted the portion that will be required for us. So you can see what is the age limit. The first let us see candidates who have passed class 12 or equivalent age examination you see this one this is the equivalent examination through which you can apply that is your diploma is also be treated as equivalent examination you will see in coming light so if you see this one what are the list of qualification that you can have so this is you see question number seven it is clearly written a diploma in recognized university by AICT or state board or technical edition for at least three years duration so yes you can see the diploma students can apply here so now let's go to year of passing so you see what is your year of passing if you are applicant for JEE 2020 so you should if you are appearing in 2000 2021 then you cannot apply and if you have appeared before 2017 then also you cannot apply. so if you are in diploma final year so you will be appearing in 2020 that means you can appear or if you have appeared in 2019 also 2018 also then also you can appear now this is an important factor of state of eligibility because lots of the students of one state they do diploma in other states suppose you are from your hometown is Tripura and you are doing in different state now you can see this example so which state you will be counted for so you will counted your domicile state will not be you cannot apply from your domicile state you will apply from the state where you got the degree. So you see the last line for example if a candidate appears for class 12 exam examination or equivalent that is your diploma in New Delhi and it is a resident of Noida that is Uttar Pradesh and the candidate state courts will be eligible at Delhi not you will not be able to apply from Uttar Pradesh you have to apply from there. So if you are a Tripura student and you have done your diploma from West Bengal then you have to apply from West Bengal. Now let's go to page number 13 if you come to page number 13 I am highlighting those portion which are required for diploma level only you can read all these things. So what is the requirement for admission Do you see the the requirement requirement is 75 percent marks in class 12 exam or top 20 percent so remove this 20 percent you highlight on this 75 percent person and it is 65 percent so how this this will be calculated it is not your class 12 exam or it, it is not that your final CGP will be counted for so for that you will have different options your marks in physics chemistry that you will that pass this examination with physics maths or compulsory subject for B, B tech or one of the chemistry or any technical subject so how this total marks will be calculated that details is given in JE advance notification we will see that how this 75 percent is killed so this is all about your je main notification so you have seen that diploma is eligible here so for this admission in iit and nit basically there are two exams one is je main and one is je advanced so je main is for nit ad NIT admission that you have seen a minimum marks you have to be secure, secure in or minimum rank you have to secure in JE main level to be eligible to sit in JE advanced okay this is the JE advanced browser again you can find it in JE advanced website or I will provide it in the description you can see there if you come to page number 15 before that you see this one the eligibility criteria for appearing in JE advanced. so they have to fulfill these five criteria first criteria is that you have to sit for JE main and you have to sit they have given top 2 lakh 50 thousand you can see top 2 lakh 50 thousand successful candidate in JE main will be appeared for JE advance and JE advance for your IIT. So if you this is your first criteria and what is second criteria should be born on or after 1990. So this criteria is also fulfilled. If suppose if you are a candidate for 2020 that is 25 years that is within your obviously within your range that is your diploma range and the number four you say it is class 12 or equivalent exam that you can see that equivalent exam is nothing but your diploma diploma is also eligible criteria five means that you have already admit those who have already got IIT in the last in last uh, year exam they will not be able to Sit. Now if you see this one, exams that are considered as an equivalent to class 12 example, if you see this one, you see this is the exam that is eligible for class 12 equivalent. You can see the diploma that is recognized by AICT, so your diploma is obviously recognized by AICT, so you can easily apply for JE advance also, you have seen this is equivalent to class 12 exam. So here you see what how this 75 percent is calculated, it will be all physics chemistry that are required subject for 11, 12 board exam. So in case of diploma, you see these five subjects will be considered. So in case of diploma, what are the five, seven, your physics marks, chemistry marks, 
marks, math marks, any language subject. If you have two languages, then one language you got highest mark, that will be considered. And one subject extra, where you have got the highest mark, highest mark. Other than this four. Now for this calculation, the marks award, if it is not hundred, then it will be scaled up up to hundred. Suppose your physics, chemistry, first half is physics, and second half is chemistry, and physics you have fifty marks, chemistry you have fifty marks. So these marks will be converted into hundred. You see this one. This one is for you. In case of diploma, they have mentioned. In case of uh, this subject, physics, chemistry, math, language are not evaluated in final year. Suppose in three year diploma course, in final year UPS, you got some branch courses. So these marks on the previous year, that is basically first year marks. So once you complete your first year marks, so the first year becomes very important. So in first year, you physics, chemistry, math, and then one language subject. Suppose English is there, spoken language is there, then that will be subject, and one more subject in which you got the highest mark that will be considered. Those who are learning for JEE main and JEE advance, I will recommend them. So once you reach it, reach at final year, you have, you are starting your final year. At the very beginning, you apply in your university to get this marks because you will be getting in grades. Marks will not be there because if you do at the end, na, so you will not get because it will take some time. University will take some time to give you the marks. So you apply very beginning at the very beginning of your final year if you are a, a aspirant if you are planning for giving JE AP advance or JE main. So you ask these marks from the university. You keep it with you because I have examples where student cleared JE main, but because of this certificate they could not get admitted in NIT. And believe me, this is physically possible. This is practically possible. I have seen student from North Tripura District Polytechnic of Tripura. One student from mechanical who is studying still in NIT Agartala in mechanical engineering. And in during my stay in IIT Kanpur, I have seen a student which is from coming from diploma and doing the, after appearing JE advance, he is now doing B Tech in IIT. So it is possible. So it is not that it is not possible. So you should try. Now all these things are the procedure how you should have how you can apply now the thing is that uh, you need preparation without that you cannot uh, crack these two exams so for this preparation it will be little extra than your class 11 12 preparation because it will be little uh, the content is different for your diploma in 11 12 courses for that i have made a different video on preparation i will put it in suggestion box you can see it now and you can check that out for now i can say for math this channel in this channel i tried to build a very nice platform through which you can start your preparation for math so that also in detail i will describe in that preparation video to check that video. So now we will see different aspect of this admission. So this is the different aspect. What are the, the first one is diploma study is different for your conventional class 12, 11, 12 study which has both advantage and disadvantage. You think of disadvantages but you have lots of advantages also. That also I, will, I have discussed that preparation what are the advantage and disadvantage. Due to this different approach of preparation this did these details I have discussed in that preparation video that I have told you. And for this match I have already discussed. Uh, we have uh, I have tried to build a nice platform in this channel only. So you can subscribe this channel now and start preparing that maths. You will find a good starting point. I will discuss that in details in preparation. And now these things are important. This is not a lateral entry. Don't think that you will be admitted in second year and it will take three years to complete the degree. But you will be admitted in first year. So your entire diploma will be treated as 11-12 only. So there will be a loss of year. But it doesn't make uh, any effect if you got admission in NIT or IIT. So these are institutes of national importance. So even if you lose one year also, but even if you lose one year also, then also it is good if you get IIT or NIT. Your branch of study may change. Whatever diploma you have done in civil, mechanical or whatever branch, electrical, that you cannot uh, be sure that you will get the same branch in degree. But that is also an, as an advantage. Suppose in diploma you could not got your preferred branch. So you have now one more opportunity to got a preferred branch of your study. So okay, with this I think uh, it will give inspiration. It will clear lots of your confusion. Yes, you can apply for J main and JE advance. So start preparing for that and for that check that preparation video.